Hey everypony, it's Monkey. Um, just Monkey today. Cookie's busy, um, doing like his fun stuff he likes to do with his, um, volunteer orchestra he's in. And I really wanted to film this video for a couple reasons. One, I wanted to film this video for you guys. And number two, cat scratching the tripod. Sorry, you guys are moving. Yay! Anyway, I really wanted to, to do this now because I wanted to put everything away. We have so much cool stuff and I wanted it all to be put away. So this is our Disney World haul from our October 2016 Disney World trip, which was our anniversary trip, so yay! Um, I'm sitting on the floor. I'm gonna try a different perspective for you guys so you can see some of our bags. You can see our backpacks, these are mine, that we took. And I'm gonna try to get through everything as quickly as possible. This video might be a little long, but I'm gonna hurry, hurry, hurry. And I wanna show you everything we got. We got so much stuff, so I'm just gonna grab a bag and start showing you guys what we got. Oh, of course, the most random thing we got first. This is a chicken calendar from the Japan Pavilion that Cookie wanted. It's from the, the magnet. And then Cookie wanted this My Neighbor Totoro pencil, mechanical pencil. Also from the Japan Pavilion at Epcot. Very cool pavilion. And here are my new earrings I got. They're little castles. Aren't they pretty, guys? So, so pretty. I don't remember how much any of this stuff is. I'm probably gonna forget that we actually bought half these things, which is horrible, because we bought too much. This is our new Christmas ornament. We buy always a ton of ornaments. It is a trash can, but it's the Polynesian Village trash can. That's where we stayed this time. And so we had to get that. So isn't that cool, guys? We got that at the Christmas shop in downtown Disney. And my earrings we got at um, World of Disney. Next bag. I don't know what's in half of these. We're just gonna start opening. What's in here? Oh, cool. This is one of our new magnets. We have a magnet problem. Maybe one day we'll show you all our magnets, but this is the Food & Wine official magnet this year with Figment. We love Figment. We got that at Epcot, I believe at the Festival Center, which is the old Wonders of Life Pavilion. So let's start with some of the pins we bought. We bought always, we buy way too many pins all the time. And this is a Happy Halloween one with Donald and Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Donald is Cookie's favorite. It's Happy Halloween 2016. And then this one is a piece of Walt Disney history. It's a limited edition pin and it's from the Polynesian. And it has a little piece of, what is it? I always forget. The original room number sign is in here in this little thing. We got this at the Polynesian, but I did see it at some of the pin shops that have the, like the limited edition pins. So it's not too hard to find. Well, it might be like limited, so just keep an eye out for that. Next, more pins. I got this really cool Beauty and the Beast pin. I got this, the, the Frozen Ever After the Ride pin, which was surprisingly hard to find. I could only find this one in the shop after the ride. So um, that was the only pin I really, I really had trouble finding. This one we got when we did our Remy's Ratatouille Ride and Squeak. Ride and Squeak? Hide and Squeak, I'm sorry. Where it's Hidden Remy, you buy a map. At, uh, they have signs out, the ones that sell them, and they have stickers, and you go around All World Showcase and you find all the Remy's, and once you finish with the map, you go and you pick a pin, and they had a bunch of them, and I really liked him juggling the garlic. I got this one because it has Jesse and Trixie on it, and they're my, one of my favorites from Toy Story. Cookie got this one, Swab the Duck. It was the only new Donald Duck pin he found that he doesn't have. And then he got Baymax and Hero from Big Hero 6. And then I had to get, because there's not nearly enough Pocahontas merch in my life, this really cool new Pocahontas pin. I loved it. Most of these I think we got at the Disney Pin Traders. Ah, and in this bag we got the Figment Oven Mitt for the Food and Wine Festival 2016. Cookie had to get this bag. It says Terror from Tomorrowland. It comes with little sour jelly pumpkins, apparently. We haven't tried them yet. Oh, I forgot to mention. These are my new ears that I got. I couldn't find these in Magic Kingdom. I used the Shop Disney Parks app, and they said they were in stock at Epcot at Mouse Gears, and that's where I got these. And then I got this shirt at World of Disney, and it's Ariel. Um, I'm, usually, I'm in between sizes most of the time, um, between XL and 2X for women. 
Uh, men, I'm in an XL. I can wear XL for men. But um, this shirt runs a little big. And this shirt is, most of the stuff is on the Shop Disney Parks app that you can order at home if you want to buy this shirt. It does run a little big. Um, I ran, this is an extra large and it is a little big still on me. Um, I think it's supposed to be a little baggier. That's the style of it. So if you are ordering it, just keep that in mind that it um, is a little big if you don't want it to be that big on you. But I loved how it fit on me. So I got a couple days later at the Bell shop. I got the Bell version. Yay for Bell. So that one's that. Then Cookie got, and I really don't like this about Disney. I'm going to say this. That the, a lot of the pass holder shirts, they don't have them in women's cut. And I'm not a fan of men's cut shirts on me. But Cookie got the pass holder shirt because we're annual pass holders this year. A figment, food and wine. And then he got, I got the same one but for women. And this is the taste around the world. And it has all the stuff on the back, like all the pavilions. It's really cool. The women's shirt for this actually runs a little smaller. I got the 2X. And it is a little form-fitting, but it's not too small. But it is smaller, to keep that in mind. Uh, this is a stitch magnet we got, because I love stitch. I think that's it in this bag. Yes. Next. We went to the Coke store in downtown Disney. It's a really cool little store. Not little, it's huge, but it's a really cool shop. And we got this awesome Coke ma uh, magnet, all the different bottles. Cookie got this pen, Coca Cola pen. And I got, I love pajama tank tops. And they had this adorable polar bear one that looked like little emojis. So it's a really cool shop, guys. You should really check that out. Next bag. This is Cookies. Oh, what is that? I forgot I bought that. And this is a food and wine festival pin of Kronk and Yzma. It's a limited edition. I love this one because he's holding the spinach puffs. My spinach puffs. I guess it's going faster too. That's just me and you guys. Let's see. Oh, or the rest of the food and wine pins we got. This is Figment. And then Cookie got this cool Donald Duck one that really turns into the three caballeros, three gay caballeros. My voice is not so good, guys, because I was sick. But you'll hear about that, too. And then Cookie got this at Marketplace Co-op. They have, like, six different little shops. And one of the shops is 28 in Maine, which is, like, the men's line of shirts. And he had to get... He freaked out. It's Spaceship Earth! It's a Spaceship Earth shirt from 28 in Maine. Those are a little more expensive. Just, just letting you guys know. And we still have stuff! Oh, gosh. I'm trying to go quickly, because our... Our, our battery is kind of dead, and I have no idea what Cookie did with the other one. But we went to Mickey's Not So Scary, and I got the women's shirt. See, this one to me looks like it might be a little smaller. Like, it'll fit a little smaller. So it says Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, and it has the logo down there, which I really like. I don't like the ones that are tighter, and they have the logo going across the chest. I'm not a huge fan of that, so I really like this, how they did that. And then Cookie got the men's one. The same thing with the logo just across the chest. And those are only available during the party. So you have to go to the party to get that. What's in here? More pins, guys! I know, we have a problem when it comes to pins. This is the pass holder food and wine pin. And it opens and it has figment on the inside. So you have to be a pass holder to buy that. And then this is the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party pin with the logo on it. You have to go to the party to get that. And this is the pass holder one. It has Oogie Boogie with a mask. And you can like move the mask off him. And then... <coughs> excuse me. They have the Hocus Pocus one for the Hocus Pocus show. It's amazing. You guys have to see that show. If you can't go to any of the parties for whatever reason... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm reaching for things. Uh, watch it on YouTube, guys. It's amazing. It's not as good, obviously, on YouTube. But watch it. So here's another magnet, magnet ornament we got. It's the Epcot. It's so cute, guys. I think we'll show you your ornaments more in detail when Christmas is coming. But it's Mickey and Minnie. I love the retro Epcot outfits. That's why I voted for that one. I don't know what's going on here. This is a crazy mess. Ooh, more pins. So we bought the lanyard with the 45th anniversary pins. These are all of them, but um, the Mickey and the Mickey one... 
This is the Mickey one. The Mickey ones, they sell separately if you just want that. I, I kind of just wanted this, but Cookie wanted the rest of them because it has uh, Pluto, Donald, Goofy, and Minnie. So that's another shot of that. So many pins. I want to film a video of our pins for you guys. A little wrapped up thing here. Oh my goodness, what are you? It's like Christmas. Oh, it's a little stitch magnet with a little ukulele. They sell us at the Polynesian, and I don't think really too many other places sell that because it's a little art piece that they turned into like a magnet. This is a limited edition pin I got. These are Disney duets. It's a line of like the villain with the cameo like um, profile of the hero. And I had to, had to. No, it's upside down. Whatever, we'll just show you guys like that. It's Ariel and Ursula. Isn't that so cool? These are also limited edition, so they don't sell them in every pin location. It has to be like where they sell the limited edition pins. So in this one, because Cookie and I are annual pass holders now, you have to go to Food & Wine three times to get this. It's free. It's a gift for the annual pass holders. And it's the Walt Disney World. Can you guys see that? Walt Disney World pass holder here and on the inside let's see if I use my hand so you guys can see it says food and wine festival 2016 Epcot International I'm sorry so you have to go three times and then you can go to this little booth inside interventions and they they scan your magic band make sure you've come three times and you get your glass and Cookie and I each got one we're getting to the end guys there's less things here so we had to buy some toys when we were there, right? So Cookie wanted this one because he loves Aladdin. And he liked the Aladdin and the blue and carpet. And I don't think he cared too much about Jasmine, but I could definitely play with that Jasmine and her ensembles. So all the outfits, as you can see, they, they get switched. You can clip them off. Well, for Jasmine, Aladdin only gets one outfit. This is a deluxe set. And the reason why we bought this one really is because I wanted this one. That's Pocahontas, and I need every Pocahontas thing in my life. And if you bought a regular one and a deluxe at that time, I think that was like $25 for both. And let's see how much. This is like 20 by itself, and this is 12 So that was a good deal. You know, that's like, what, $8 off? So we got these two. We're getting there, guys. What is this? Oh. We bought these as gifts for my dad and my mother-in-law. Um, they have a basin in downtown Disney or Disney Springs. I have to say Disney Springs. In Disney Springs and they have one in the Grand Floridian. It's like this fancy little soap shop. And um, they make their hand, they hand make bars of soap and then they cut them and they sell them by the pound. And we got my mother-in-law, it says flip flops. It has like a really nice clean scent. I don't want to open it because they're cute in this thing. But then my dad, I saw this and I knew we had to get it for him. It has it's a Democrat. It has a donkey on it and stars. My dad doesn't like too much big stuff. He gets mad if we spend money on him. I thought that was something that he wouldn't be too uh, offended by. More pins! Look! A Zootopia pin with Judy and Nick. How to get that. <coughs> I'm sorry guys. And then we got these Animal Kingdom like dish cloths. We just we love Animal Kingdom. I love all the Animal Kingdom designs. It should be like that. Design and merch. I'm gonna get to spend one day at Animal Kingdom this time because of the stinking hurricane. That's not fair, you guys. Not fair. One more pin. I swear. I think this is the last one. It's the Disney Conservation Fund pin. And it has Simba! And we have donated to the Conservation Fund a lot when we've been there. So finally, I think this is the last bag. This is a shop called, I don't know how you say it, if you want to comment and teach me because I don't know, Uniqlo or Uniqlo? It's a really big store in Disney, Disney Springs, they said it right. And it's two stories and they have this really cool Disney line of stuff. And for adults and kids, but they do have really cool stuff for adults, which is amazing because a lot of stores like that uh, don't. And um, so I got these sweatpants because they didn't have my normal size there. They did have a lot of extra larges and I probably could have tried it. Um, they didn't look like they'd be that small, but um, I didn't. So I don't know if those are going to fit, but I got pants. 
These are just sweatpants. And look, they say Daisy Duck. I love it. I love it. And this is a pretty reasonable store price-wise. Those are the 30 for these sweatpants. So they're really comfy. I'm going to wear them at home. Probably wear them with my emoji polar bears. And then Cookie got this Huey, Dewey, and Louie shirt from there. So, so that's, that's pretty much our whole haul. Oh, and then I lied. Cookie did get this backpack. He, uh, we usually take water and stuff in the park, so we took too much stuff for just me to carry in one of my backpacks. So he was carrying my Bell one, and uh, he, was, he wasn't uncomfortable with it. He doesn't care, but I think he wanted one that was more him. So, he had to get this Soren backpack. It is from Soren, and it does have all the places you go in the new Soren around the world. And because it doesn't specify Epcot or DCA, he wanted something that said he got this at Epcot. So he got this little Epcot pin, the Spaceship Earth Mickey. And then to embellish, he got this like plush Donald to hang off it, and then he got this really cool Donald keychain. So he did get that. And then I got this adorable Pluto keychain. This is my uh, aerial backpack I've had from the Disney store for a while. I, I do really like these little backpacks for the kids. They're meant for kids, but you just loosen the straps enough and it fits. I like them because they're not too big. I hate taking humongous backpacks in the parks. And I used to take the drawstring bags, but they were too small. And then the drawstrings would get really tight if you were stuffing stuff in there. And uh, yeah, I couldn't do that. And then this is my bell one that I took from the Disney store, but I had to get this little Simba for your, um, so it's for your lanyard for your pins. But we really don't do the lanyards because we have too many pins, as you guys can see. So, um, what else did we buy? We did get ponchos. This is what I'm pulling now, our ponchos. <gasps> it's a shirt I didn't wash. Oh my god, I'm glad I'm going through this right now. Um, my magic band's in there. Oh goodness, how embarrassing. And we did finally get, we have plenty of umbrellas. We have issues with umbrellas. We have like three times as many umbrellas as people in this house now, but we had to get the Disney Parks umbrellas because we have an issue. We're sick. We are sick people. And yeah. And I think the last thing, yeah, the last thing that I have that I didn't get to show you guys, can I show you guys this? What is this? I didn't get to show you guys this! It's Figment! The Food and Wine Festival Figment Ornament. We had to get that. I swear someday, Cookie jokes her tree is going to topple over. <coughs> Excuse me. I just think we need our tree. We're going to have to have two trees at some point in our lives. What is this? Oh, it's a book. Okay. So let me get the last thing, because I'm silly, and I forgot to bring... Oh, no! Not the last thing! We're almost done, guys. Almost done. So we went to Animal Kingdom Lodge to have dinner at Jico. Jico's amazing. We didn't vlog in there because we felt uncomfortable vlogging in a ni really nice restaurant. Um, but we went to the gift shop after Animal Kingdom because it's a really good gift shop. It has lots of really interesting things, the Animal Kingdom things. Um, and they had, I love Tervis. I love only Tervis. I hate the faux Tervis things because they're not dishwasher safe. And as I've told you guys a million times before, if it's not dishwasher safe. I'm not buying it anymore because I know myself not going to happen. I'm not going to wash it. It's just going to take up space. So they had a lion one. Now it's not specified to Animal Kingdom Lodge or Animal Kingdom, but I love lions. I love lions. So here's as a lion. They're all billowy and a serious lion and a lioness. Oh, she's so pretty. So I got, I had to, I know we're sick. We're sick people, obviously. And then um, we were at Magic Kingdom and they have in these little like booths by Country Bear, they have like a drink kiosk and they sell these jugs that you can put a drink in and Cookie had to, I, I mean, I told him you have to get that. So it's like the Country Bear jugs that they play music on. So one more thing guys, look, it's the beast. He's a little jostled, poor guy. <coughs> Excuse me again. So yeah, this is our Beast plushie. I got him in the Bonjour gift shop, which is the one in Belle's village. And I love him. I love him so. So that's our haul, guys. It's ridiculous. It's insane. Disney just takes all our money from us, and we're happy to give it to them, apparently. Um, 
Uh, let's see, what else? My favorite thing. Let's see if I can pick a favorite thing before the battery runs out. Let's just kill it, right? <coughs> I guess we'll go favorite clothing item, maybe. And then favorite not clothing item. So my favorite clothing item is obviously this. I've worn it twice already. My aerial. And my not clothing item. Oh, God. I think it has to be a pin, guys. We bought so many. And I think I know which one it is, but I have to find it. Because we are sick, sick people. And I'm just going to keep talking until I find it. There we go. You ready, guys? You ready to see my favorite thing we bought this trip? Spinach puffs! Oh, I love Kronk. Paul knows this. Everyone knows this now. I love Kronk. So, thank you guys for watching. I have no idea if this video is going to come out after our Disney World vlog, which means you probably won't see this video for like two weeks because it's going to take forever for us to get through all that, which is fine. Um, so, but that's our Disney World haul from this trip. I think we did buy, like, I bought a watch, an aerial watch, and I don't know where it is right now. I don't know where it is. It's around. It's a kid's watch, and it fits me. It fits me on the second hole, so hey. Anyway, so that's our Disney World haul. We spend far too much money there, guys. Kids, don't do this. It's such a it's just ridiculous. We're just sick, sick people. Um, so please watch our other videos, though. We have lots of toy review videos. We have lots of we have weekly vlogs. We don't do the daily vlog thing because our jobs just it just wouldn't work. We would have like a two minute vlog go up every day, some days of the week. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please comment. Please like. Please subscribe. You would love more subscribers. Please watch our Disney World vlogs whenever they're going up or this came up after. I don't know. And then please, our uh, next month, we're going to Disneyland. Um, it's a shorter trip, but we're still going. So please watch those videos. And we're ready to talk about our next Disney World trip probably in June. Um, to Animal Kingdom Lodge. It's so exciting! So please, please subscribe so you don't miss any of those Disney videos if, if you really like the Disney videos. But we do do like lots of toy reviews and lots of Disney video, like Disney toy reviews. So if you like that stuff, please subscribe. So thank you so much for watching. Bye!